you know, like the botanical gardens. That's one thing I loved about um, Hong Kong. Our hotel was like across the street from a botanical garden. And then we didn't even have to cross the street. There was like a walkway bridge where you walked up and then you walked over like the, whatever the highway. And I love that, I do. What if we did, what if there was no need for stoplights? What if we just created walkways where pedestrians never would have to get hit by cars? That's all I'm saying. Look, I just have suggestions. I have ideas. I don't know how to implement them. Most of my ideas aren't good, but I do appreciate Singapore. I hope I get to visit again. And maybe, maybe just one day, I can just vocalize my dreams right now. Maybe I'll live next door to the CEO of TikTok. And thank you to Singapore for making an exception for Mr. Dyson. I know that, you know, you have to be a Singapore citizen to own a house in Singapore, but thank you for making a, an exception for Mr. Dyson. The, C, the founder of Dyson Vacuums. I love the vacuums. Shout out to Hoover. Shout out to Samson. Renee Samson, I had the hugest crush on you in college. Shout out to you. I just tried to pretend it was your sister. I hope you never, ever, ever realized that I had the biggest crush on you. And I was just trying to pretend that I had a crush on your sister. I don't know where that came from. I just love Singapore and I felt like, look, sometimes it's good to get things off your chest. This is what I learned from Jennifer Aniston. No, I've never met Jennifer Aniston. But I'm just saying, like, if, if I was to learn something from someone that I've never met, I'd be like, look, she's right. Sometimes you gotta let things go in your mind so you can enjoy new things. No, I think sometimes holding on to things in your mind holds you back because you, you're not able to experience new things. So shout out to Singapore. I hope to visit. Shout out to Taiwan.